Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a new workaround on how to be doing car-to-car -car merges. We can also be doing special vehicles with this as well. So we're going to be starting off here over at the arena. We're going to have to get ourselves glitched out over at the ticket booth, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to walk up to the ticket booth and we're going to be joining Anwak, or you guys can be joined like one of your friends. So first things first though, we got to make sure that we are in free aim here. So we're in free aim, and this is going to make it a lot easier, okay? Because we're going to be joining somebody that's also in free aim. Just the alerts pop up a lot faster. So stand next to the ticket booth, and what we're going to do is just go ahead and join Anawak at this time. And then as soon as you guys join Anawak, press right on the D-pad, and as soon as the first alert pops up, go ahead and accept that first alert. And then we're, we're going to go ahead and sit on the second alert for about three seconds, and then accept the second alert, okay? So, once again, stand next to the ticket booth, join Anawak, press right on the D-pad, accept the first, stay on the second one for about three seconds, and then go ahead and accept that. And then when you guys pop down, you should notice that you do not have a mini-map, okay? If you messed up on that part, just continuously keep doing that until you guys get to the part where you don't have a mini-map, because now we are glitched out, ready to continue on with the glitch itself. So right now, what we're going to go ahead and do is have our friend over at the LS car meet. Our friend is going to go ahead and send us an invite. So they're just going to pop open like their interaction menu or something. Send us an invite on over there. Now, when we get to the LS car meet, what we're going to need to do is go ahead and call up the mechanic and get our donor car out. So our donor car, we're not going to lose or anything like that. This is just the car that we're going to be transferring the modifications on over to the other vehicle. And for this one, we're just going to be showing you guys how to merge regular cars. In another video, I'll be showing you guys how to go ahead and merge special vehicles. So our friend is going to have to go ahead and get a little bit glitched out at this time. So what our friend is going to go ahead and do is basically they're going to be starting up a sprint and they're also going to be going into the test track at the same time. So your friend is going to pop open their interaction menu, start up a sprint, and then from there it's going to be like square and X at as fast as they can, okay? And then we're just going to chill here just for a second. So in the upper left-hand screen is my friend's POV. So my friend's going to send us that real quick, and then he's going to try to hurry up as fast as he can and go into the test track, okay? So it looks like he's just failed that attempt. You have to be very fast with this part right here. So we're just going to quit the sprint real quick. So you guys see what I'm seeing in the upper left hand corner? You have to go ahead and start up the test track and the sprint and send us like an invite. It all has to be done very quickly, okay? Because what's gonna happen here is you should see us getting into it. So about two seconds, right down to the like two seconds, all right? This is what we're gonna do. So we started up the sprint, we're hovering over this real quick and I've already went ahead and accepted it. So right when it gets down to two seconds, you guys have to have this menu open up here in the upper left hand corner you know going into the test track okay so just do that part fast until you get that option there and then about two seconds down to the like the last we're just gonna go ahead and have your friend accept this we ourselves are gonna be stuck on an infinite black loading screen so once again what we're gonna go ahead and do is join in a whack and we're just gonna go ahead and accept the alerts there so our friend is gonna be glitched out uh, as you guys can see in the upper left hand screen right there and i'm just going to go ahead and join anawak accept that first alert and now at this time we're going to pop open our interaction menu and we're going to go ahead and take the easy way out but not before we register as a ceo president so make sure you guys register as a ceo president and then we're going to go into the abilities and then once we get into the abilities we're going to go ahead and request this right here our luxury helicopter all right and then we can pop up on our interaction menu and take the easy way out. Here we go. Now, this is going to be the real messed up part here is because your guys' POV is going to be frozen, basically looking backwards here. So maybe the better thing you can do is like drive the car backwards or try to drive it forward. But we need to make our way to that helicopter, which is literally like right behind me in the gate and if you guys do the same exact it should be in the same exact location so we're kind of frozen here at first i'm just going to go ahead and join anawak again get unfrozen and then we can drive around with this messed up pov i'm like in the wrong side of the road or something like that and yeah like we're constantly looking backwards i can't tell what's really in front of me but i know where i have to go because i've done this glitch a lot of times before and when we use the helicopter and have to call it in it usually lands right over here so i'll just kind of like 
you know, we're gonna have to struggle to make our way over there. Like once again, you guys could drive backwards like what I'm doing. Oh great, just crashed again. So right in here, there's the helicopter. And we just have to kind of get like close to the helicopter. You can get out of your vehicle. But once again, your POV is going to be messed up. You know, your point of view, it's like all glitched out where like you're constantly looking backwards. So once you get close to the helicopter, just go ahead and press like wire triangle to get into it. There we go. And then once you guys get in there, just go ahead and like honk your horn like you would be in a vehicle. But what that's going to do is it's going to pop open an option on whether to take you to one of two places, either your CEO office or your special vehicle warehouse, which for this one, we're going to be showing you guys just how to do a regular car to car merge. In the next video, I'll be showing you guys how we're going to be actually merging special vehicles and saving them. So from here, we're going to our CEO office. And once again, once we get into our CEO office, our POV is still going to be messed up. So what we're going to need to do is make our way on over to the desk where our secretary is so we'll try to manage to do that as best as possible all right so <laughs> it's a little messed up so whoa hold on now we'll get there then once you get to the desk just like start spamming right on the d-pad and just press right on the d-pad to get your options open here all right, now from here, what we're going to go ahead and do is choose personal vehicle, and we're going to be choosing the vehicle that we want to transfer the modifications from our donor vehicle on over to this vehicle right now. So I'm just going to go through here, and I'm going to try to find a vehicle that's not modded. Uh, we'll use this Cheetah Classic, I think. I don't think that's modded yet. All right, so as soon as we do this, what's going to happen is it's going to kick us outside. And then what we're going to need to do once we get outside, once again, is take the easy way out. Now, unfortunately, you guys are probably already taking the easy way out like I did. So you're going to be stuck on a timer. This was something new that was implemented into the game a very long time ago. Uh, I think just to keep people from trying to grief or something like that. I don't really know, but it's kind of dumb. So we're just going to go ahead and wait this uh, timer out real quick until we can get the option of just being able to take the easy way out real quick. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and take the easy way out. Our friend is still going to be glitched out. So what our friend is going to do is our friend is going to join Anawak now. And then he's going to get unglitched. And what he's going to do is just simply like, you know, since he's going to be unglitched, I think that at this point too, we are still glitched out. So if we wanted to continuously uh, do this glitch, I think we'd be able to do that. So my friend's just joining Anawak right now, accepting the alerts. We're just gonna unglitch him and get us out of the sprint, I think, at this time. And then what we're gonna have to do, yeah, there you go. Sprint has just ended and check this out. So now I'm in the Cheetah Classic, got all the modifications from that S95 on over to this vehicle. So what we're gonna need to do is save this vehicle. And there's only one way of doing that, my friends. We gotta take this thing to the LS Custom Shop and we have to change one thing on the vehicle. So we're going to head there now real quick. Should just be like right up the road, depending on where you guys are. They're located all over the, the city. So we're just going to go up to this one, uh, like in the heart of downtown, I think. All right, here we are. We're just going to go ahead and drive in. Now, to save the vehicle, just change one thing on the vehicle. Normally, what I do is I just go right into armor, and I purchase the cheapest armor, and then I just, just like switch it right back, and then bam, 100% armor. The vehicle has now been saved, and since I don't have a mini-map, I'm thinking at this time I can continuously keep doing this glitch. So all I would need to do right now is have my friend once again send me an invite on over to the LS car meet, which is like where he's already at and we would continuously keep merging cars in the game by using this method which yeah there's a couple like more steps than regular but hey at least we're able to go ahead and merge vehicles in the game and the next video that i'm going to post is how to do special vehicles so if you guys enjoyed this one make sure you hit that like button on the way out subscribe if you guys are new and you want to see more content like this coming through your feed don't forget to check out my channel because we've got tons of other glitches just like this over there if you guys go ahead and enjoy uh but yeah thanks for watching once again my name is gravesite and i'll see you in the next one so peace